here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Khabib Nurmagomedov, he's a guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly. And when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, He's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting! the blue corner this man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight he stands six feet one inch tall weighing in at 154 pounds fighting out of Methuen, massachusetts assassin and now introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner this man is a grappler holding professional record of 29 wins no losses he stands five feet ten inches tall weighing in at 155 pounds fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, my friend. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Nurmagomedov gets hit with a kick. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the wrestling. Just unable to quite find that ring. All 
Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Unable to connect with the right. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Stuff to take down, no problem. Right hand punch from the clinch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, single collar tie now. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful legs. Straight punch there, lands on the counter. Nice job using his reach advantage there. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Now a knee to the body, and they separate. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice land there by Nermako Manoff. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this, and that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. And now he's got that tight punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Nurmagomedov gets in the clinch yet again. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Single collar tie now. He lands a big knee to the body. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Nurmagomedov. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Real nice body kick lands. Great punch landing with so much power. Powerful leg kick lands. Again, they clinch. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All collar ties. And they separate. Ten seconds now to go in the round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after him, guns are blazing. Both of these young men. Oh. Nurmagomedov's shot there is blocked. 
Got the single collar tie. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Oh. <laughs> All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Single collar tie here. Yes, that you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice strike. Unable to connect with the right hand there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your head. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Blocks the strike. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, that's a nice strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big punch land. Ooh. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And there comes the separation now. All right, single collar tie now. Nice kick, these guys are going at it. Nice punch, Lance. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Battling for hooks. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. He engages in the single collar tie. Look at the damage inflicted by that elbow. Punch over the top. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Final seconds. Right on the button. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the box. Right, it looks like Steve Green to go.
All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, pretty good back and right, forth ready? action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Straight punch lands. Big leg kick lands. Oh, there's that elbow. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the clinch. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Beautiful kick. Oh, lands another shot to the body. Beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Real quick leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. A little single collar tie there. Ooh! Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big knee land. Oh, he slipped that strike and then countered beautifully. Really starting to get his range and get into a good flow on the feet as the longer fighter. Head kick there, blocked by Nermago Meadow. Again, back into this position. Big leg kick land. Nice. All oh, collar tie. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Big punch from the clinch. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. It's such a fast leg kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, and there's that double leg takedown. And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Just over two minutes now to go. Nermago Medov's got his back now. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Head kick. Got the single collar tie. Good punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch when you find yourself in this. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it.
take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. It looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of round number three. For the winner by submission, Khabib Nurmagomedov! So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just...